read about your brother, Ronald. Oh, yes. And I wondered, in, you, in your writings, have you ever used him as one of your heroes? No, not exactly, because the heroes are rather different. Um, because it's always difficult to see what you hear. I'm always the heroine, I'm always the virgin, you know, right, because that right. was my life, you see. But the heroes vary, and it's what people keep saying to me, what do you think is an attractive man? Now, when a man's in love with you, Whatever he's like, he's very attractive. He has a, a sort of m m excitement of his own because he's in love with you, do you see? So it's always difficult to say the man must be tall, dark. They're my, my heroes are usually tall, dark, and I were tall, dark and exciting. And I've always been in love with fair-haired, blue-eyed men who are rather stupid, I may tell you. So it doesn't work out like that. And it's a, it's a, if a man's in love with you, he has a magic of his own. You can't explain it, but that's what it is because he's in love with you. And so really a hero can be anybody. And it's, they don't have to be so terribly good looking. Personally, I'd rather be good looking myself and not having the man so good looking, because you know that's always trouble. Now this I want to show you, because it's the one that I wrote with Lord Mountbatten. Yeah. He said to me, I must have a novel for to sell for my United World Colleges, which you know you've got one in America. Yeah. And um, it was very dear to his heart because he thought it was a stop war. And so I said, all right, well, we write a novel, you can do the plot, and I will, and then all the sea, and I'll do the love. And he was so clever because he knew that in 1812, after the war with America was over, the pirateers, which are ordinary people, went on preying on our ships. And so it's all a story how they sent our ship from England to stop the Americans taking our food away from us coming from the West Indies, you see. And it's all course. Now there was a lovely lady on board who fell in love with the captain. <laughs> and then we'd done five chapters, and then Lord Brown Bratton was assassinated. I mean, it has made a lot of money for his favourite charity, which was the United World Colleges. This is the thing which I think is wonderful, yeah. which is ginseng. Mm -hmm. And do you realize, it's very interesting, the Americans brought in a law, and we discovered the other day, you can't go to the moon unless you take ginseng. Oh, that's so unless you swallow this, you can't go you to the moon. Go to the moon. <laughs> I don't want to go to the moon. I'll give you a bottle no, when you do. <laughs>